hi everyone so today in this video we are going to discuss what to do to get a job after completing four years of engineering in electronics and communication engineering so dear friends mostly people get tensed and get worried about if they do not have campus placement in their college which is quite normal but you should take that in a positive way and keep searching or keep looking for the opportunities to get a job it depends upon what kind of job you want after completing of engineering in this video i'll be very precise and i'll be focusing on getting a job in electronics background yes there are many streams you can find a job after completing of engineering in electronics and communication you can go into software which includes dot net java oracle kind of and sql various software platforms where you can get trained in some institute and get a job but my dear friends in this video i'll be explaining about how to get a job in core field or in electronics which is very much relevant to the all the subjects which you have studied in electronics and communication branch yes so these suggestions are based upon my personal experiences and after meeting various friends and colleagues and various uh, opinions and their stories of their lifetime experiences so based on that i would just tell you very quick and you know effective way of finding a job so after completing of engineering you wonder where you would like to go and as there is no campus placement you would like to see that where you can get a job and so before that what you should do is just make a list of all the companies you would like to get into yes in order to achieve a goal you should have a clear cut idea about what you want to achieve so most students or most professionals who have completed their engineering do not have that information most pe most people don't know what are the companies or core industries which they can apply for and sadly in today's competitive world these companies expect at least 2 to 3 years of experience to get into it and yes it is very difficult to get into these companies these multinational companies which are related to electronics and communication or hardware you can say it as an hardware electronics hardware position electronics hardware engineer position it is very difficult to get in, get a job into these companies as these companies ask for 2 to 3 years of experience hence my dear friends so first of all you should prepare a proper resume in your resume it should be uh, quite informative about mostly into your academic projects what you have done if you are a, as you are a fresher considering that you do not have any prior experience you should quite emphasize on your resume mentioning about your academic projects and apart from your academic projects you should also incorporate few of the projects or the you know which is related to electronics or like a hobby you know you could find an arduino board and any other hardware platform and do some uh small projects online which is available online at your home uh, in your leisure time and uh, that's how you gain little knowledge and read lots of book i would recommend few of the books which you should read and which will clear your basics as well as with and the questions or the uh, answers or the topics which will be asked in the interviews would be very much from these books you should i would definitely recommend you to read those books and i would uh, mention that book the name of the books uh, in the uh, you know description of this video 
and uh, you should definitely read that book that should be your first step of you know finding a job uh, and then as i told you that big companies really need experience hence you should look into the small companies as you do not have the opportunity we have to accept the harsh reality that these big companies require experience and since you are a fresher and nobody would like to give a job because uh, your basics may not be clear or you know it's a tendency that as a fresher you need to be trained and then deployed on the project to get the things done hence uh, you what you have to do is you have to look for the small industries there are many industries in the many metropolitan cities like uh, hyderabad mumbai delhi nagpur pune bangalore you should definitely go and check out these cities and look into various industrial areas like for ida industrial area and uh, there you know mostly in newspapers uh, they give uh, advertisement about requirement of uh, engineers and there will be many walk in drives for those particular companies for electronic core side there are companies for software as well but since i'll be focusing on you know getting a job in electronics uh, hardware pro job profile uh, you should try to see there are very very much companies who are man they were small or medium scale industries who are manufacture of solar inverters charge controllers and uh, dc motors and pcb design uh, designing companies pcb manufacturing companies so there are many uh, options which are uh, you can try and uh, as you require a job even these companies the small scale or medium scale industries also require engineers to do the job may, because they they may not offer you a good big salary but they would offer you in the opportunity to learn and work on various subjects and that's how that's how it should be your first step you know looking for the job in small industries and you know go and look into various companies or industries or industrial area and look into newspapers apply in nokri.com and uh, monster.com and these uh, and also look for various uh, openings and you have to keep looking and that's all i can say so i i suggest this based on my personal experience even i did the same mine was a small college where i completed my engineering so there was no campus placement so i went to hyderabad and looked for various companies where i can find a job and my first company which i got job was through a newspaper ad and uh, that was very a uh, small company and i was offered only 3500 rupees per month to get the job but since the job was exciting and i saw that there is a great learning opportunity with the company and that's the reason i joined the company and uh, i worked there for 2 years and after gaining few experience few exp- experience like few years of experience i started getting calls from many other companies like multinational companies as well like uh, tech mahindra tcs infosys so these are service based companies and then i clinched to opportunity and i joined i have you know after even then i tried attending interviews but i could not crack them even after getting 2 years of experience and hence I, but i did not stop with that i kept attending interviews for another one year and that interviews helped me learn the things the concepts which i need to focus on to prepare and you know noted those questions and uh, prepared for those questions and every time i attended interview that helped me for the next interview and finally i got a job in a multinational company and there that gave me opportunity that opens opened the door of you know expanding myself into actual work and uh, you know my the first experience which i got from my company first company uh, which was manufacture of solar inverters and uh, there i got to work on power electronics analog circuits and uh, the basically core and electrical design you know transformer design and uh, you know pcb using mosfets 
uh, IGBTs and the gate driver circuits basically analog circuits and uh, power electronics and later my second company was also a medium scale industry and which was manufacturer of uh, DC motors and uh, there I got to you know work on various motors and gate drive similar kind of work but more into embedded microcontroller based uh, PCB design printed circuit board designs and that's how I learned so I'm telling you this my experiences because uh, no job is small at this moment uh, as a fresher uh, you should uh, don't bother about the salary maybe you might be suffering from or going through a tough time in terms of financial uh, requirements but you have to have some patience as you did not get opportunity to get a job in your through your college this is the hard way you need to get and yes there are many other opportunities or other ways of getting a job on a different field but I person it's my personal feeling and that if you have studied in electronics and communication engineering or telecommunication engineering or electronics background and you are interested in working in the same field then uh, this is the hard way you need to move on and uh, uh, first get a job in a small company and then look for uh, you know after gaining some two or three years of experience you will get a job you can start applying for big companies like Honeywell Rockwell Automation GE General Electric Power and uh, General Electric uh, uh, Healthcare GE Healthcare there are many other companies which also which are you know uh, require uh, or you know there is a high demand for electronics hardware engineer uh, for uh, such companies and uh, trust me my friends uh, you know these companies uh, you know do their background verification very strictly hence uh, although you do it from a small company ensure that you get your experience letters uh, from the previous companies which you have worked so that uh, there is no uh, hazard or you know problem while you are uh, having the background verification done through these companies and uh, how to prepare for the interviews for this big companies I would uh, post my next video and uh, in that video I will explain about what are the big companies you can apply the list of all the big companies you can apply after gaining two to three years of experience so for now my friends um, for this video titled as what to do after engineering to get a job uh, you know if your branch is electronics and communication engineering uh, it's a, there is no short go you need to keep looking for small industries and uh, medium skill industries which have which offer the jobs and uh, do not uh, bother about salary you know I started with 3500 now I earn around in one, 1 lakh rupee per month so that's how it goes so I achieved this and you know like just with the five years of experience so you can also do that I believe uh, in India in our country there is not much aware and there is no proper guidance so I felt that this thing has to be realized by most of the people many of my friends and you know juniors ask me so I suggest the same so my dear friends uh, look for a small company where you can get a job and do not uh, deviate yourself if some company offers you a job but which is a different kind of profile and uh, you know in long run that may not help you because always try to see that your work matters your company doesn't so ensure that you have a good work to do so that that will be part of your experience hope my this video helps you a lot and in my next video I will explain about all the list of the companies which you can attend after two years of experience thank you so much